everyone. Hey everyone. This is the next step in the rebuild that we wanted to share with you. And like we said, this is no way like the end all be all of all rebuilds. Do your homework, check out a billion different spots, especially if it's going to be a performance rebuild. But what we wanted to do is we just wanted to share some of the things that sometimes get missed with the other rebuilds. Uh, right now, our next step is checking the ring clearances. So the ring gap clearances on these guys. And in order to do that, you need to have your, your rings and they need to be square in the piston bore. Um, an interesting side note that's on some of the service bulletins is if you're just re-ringing a motor and it hasn't been machined, so the bore uh, will have a taper to it on, you know, from the piston rings traveling up and down. And they note that when you're putting rings in, you should check it all the way at the bottom of the bore as well as at the top of the bore because uh, it's going to have that taper to it and it can be as much as probably 20 thousandths of an inch or so, they say, maybe a little more from the difference at the bottom of the bore to the top of the bore. And if you only check it and set your gaps maybe wide for a performance build at the top of the bore here, what's going to happen is at the bottom of the bore, you may be way out of spec. So you might be 20 up here, but you may be 50 down at the bottom or, or a little more, 55. So check that out. That is something to be aware of if your block has not been machined and you're just re-ringing it. For here, I wanted to show you, we normally just use the piston method where you just drop a piston in to square up your ring. Um, but since we do have so many motors that we're going to be building just for fun around here, I thought, you know what? I love tools and I love having them on hand. It's kind of my addiction. Uh, right here we have a Proform Universal Ring Squaring Tool. It's a The part number is 67652. Um, it was like 25 bucks, which was really cheap compared to the rest of them. And the reason why I went with this guy is if you look at him, it doesn't look like much. Um, it's got little lips to help guide you around and make sure that it's seated squarely. But the beauty of it is, is this can be used in a variety of different cylinder sizes. Whereas a lot of the other ones are limited to maybe, you know, a, a range of 20 thousandths or 50 thousandths or, you know, they're, they're pretty specific. Uh, this guy will do not only my five nines here that we, we have fun with a lot, but it's also... We're working on a super special, who the heck knows how it's going to turn out, but it should be fun to learn, 6-7 uh, build. So, again, it was like 25 bucks shipped. Maybe not even quite that much, but it was. I'll, I'll try to drop a link in below. Um, and on a bonus note here, if you guys love the channel, um, those are affiliate links sometimes, not all the time. I... I really make sure that it's whatever link is best for you guys. Um, but if it happens to be an affiliate link, it does help support the channel, which anything, you know, we're going to do this regardless, but anything that helps offset the cost is just amazing. You know, it really helps us out. So there's that guy. Um, the clearances on this, just to give you an idea, uh, factory spec from Cummins on the number one ring, the top ring, is... 14 to 23 thousandths and if you do do your homework do your homework um, don't just take my ring gap clearance specs as gospel because they're they're different specs all over the place um, but if you we're gonna set this guy at about 18 for the top ring and we're probably gonna go about 45 for the second one and for the second ring um, the clearance on that, the spec is, they say, uh, between 35 and 54 is what my book shows. I think that's off of quick serve. Um, so again, you're going to get different specs all over the place. Uh, and the oil control ring, they say anywhere from 10 on the low side, that would be tight, and then up to 30. So we're probably going to go somewhere around 20 on that. Um, so we're probably going to do about an 18, 45, and 20-ish, somewhere around there. We'll have to see exactly what we settle on, depending on how these rings stack up, out across here. And one more note on that. We'll probably do a whole separate video on this. But one note that is important. Um, 
So when you're, when you're deciding what to do, you know, they say if you're going to tow a lot or if you're going to be racing, set the clearances a little looser. So more towards the upper side of those minimums. Like instead of doing 18, if you were just doing an all-out drag truck, you might go for 23 or something like that. Some guys go over the max spec because as it gets heat soaked in here, um, you know, those things are going to expand. And if that gap closes up, you're in trouble because that's when it starts to cause damage to the cylinder or break the top of the piston. You know, you can really, really mess some things up. Um, and just to give you an idea, because we want these videos to be fairly comprehensive, if we look down there, oh, you, can, yeah, you can't really see it from down there. Let's grab underneath and see if we can see them. Yes. Well, yeah, I say yes, but... Ah, oh, man, we can't really see them in there. Anyway, up in there are your saddle jets. You can see, oh, you can see the green there. You can see the green on the bottom of the saddle jet. And so that guy comes up here and it sprays, it's angled so that it sprays on, oh, you can see the light coming through one of the saddle jets there. That guy comes up and sprays on the bottom of the piston. This apparently is early, well, not apparently, this is an early 03. So it has 12 valve, 24 valve rods, not common rail rods in it. They're the machine caps. And it still has the old style piston jet, cooling jets. And so I've decided to go, this is going to be mostly just a street truck, but it is going to have like uh, probably a hundred over, not a hundred over, what am I talking about? Like a hundred horse injector in it. So just above stock. Um, it's probably going to have a programmer at some point. The customer is probably going to throw a, you know, just a small programmer on it. And it's going to have a 647114 turbo on it, so I'm I'm going to go ahead and set these guys a little a little looser just so he has some room. If he gets hot and toasty, he has some room to to play with without damaging anything in there. Anyway, so that's the next step. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check all the gaps on here. And next step, if any of them need to be adjusted, we'll go ahead and share with you the filing of the ring. All right, take care till the next one.